Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting uh, news and updates, and we are starting with this, well, let's put it this way, a curious one, very curious, very, very interesting, so this is basically the news that is circling around the internet, the Instagram mainly, uh, and it is basically about Ramon Dino getting a new sponsorship, being sponsored by Raw Nutrition. A supplement company, a supplement brand. So why do we care who is sponsoring Ramondino? Well, because a part owner of this company is, as you guys probably know, Chris Bumstead, basically uh, the biggest rival of Ramondino. Or should I say, Ramondino is the only competition, the only real rival to Chris Bumstead. I mean, I'm not saying that uh, Ramon could have won, could have beaten Chris. I don't think that's gonna happen, probably never, but he did push him, he is pushing him, he's basically the reason why Chris needs to stay that one step ahead, he can't relax, and Ramon pushed him in the Mr. Olympia more than anybody else has in the past couple of years, himself included, his, his version of 2022 wasn't as good as this year's version, so it was a battle, actually, these guys, let's put it that way, they are rivals, they are definitely rivals, and now Chris Bumstead is... Ramon's boss, <laughs> that's right, they are the biggest rivals, but now, since Ramon signed for Raw Nutrition, he is basically an employee of Chris Bumstead, who owns the company, he is, Chris Bumstead is now Ramon's boss, that's the way it is, it does sound kind of weird, but technically, that's how it is, now, I checked Ramon's account, his IG account, and there was nothing about this, he didn't add it to his bio, he didn't announce that he is now sponsored by these guys, but I noticed a lot of comments in Portuguese, uh, basically Brazilians are saying that it is true, everybody in Brazil knows this and they are using the code, discount code already, it hasn't been officially announced yet, but I guess it's gonna be soon. I'm sure at this point all of you guys know that Chris Bumstead is a part owner of Raw Nutrition, also Matt Jansen is involved, and the third guy is Dom, Dominic uh, Iacavon, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, and from what I'm hearing, everybody is saying that Dom is actually the real guy in charge. Now, I'm not saying that Chris wasn't for this idea to get Ramon on the team, I'm sure it was Chris's idea, but I gotta say, it's kinda weird. Like I said, nothing was announced yet, but Ramon did post this photo, here he is with Chris, I think at his home or something like that, and he's trying to pull away his trophy, his Mr. Olympia Classic Physique trophy. And they took this photo, they're together here, obviously, they're joking around, Chris says in the comments, you might get it one day, but you're never taking it from me. So, obviously, these guys did meet. Why did they do it? Just to hang out? I don't think so. Also, Ramon doesn't speak any English. None. So, yeah, this is definitely some kind of a business opportunity. Maybe they're just filming a video together, but maybe they're actually, you know, maybe Ramon actually signed that contract. Now, how is Ramon going to promote Raw if he can't speak any English? Well, he's either gonna have to learn how to speak English, which would be really nice, or he's simply just going to promote it in uh, Brazil. Once again, nothing is official, though it is a very interesting situation, and this photo was taken at least one week ago, before Chris went for his hair transplant. And that is another thing, guys. You know that it's both him and his brother-in-law, Ian Valier, who went together to do a hair transplant, and Ian did it after he retired. Because, as everybody knows, pushing gear does increase hair loss, it's definitely promoting it, so... Chris decided to do it right now, and people are assuming that maybe he's done, maybe his career is over. Also, like, he won five Mr. Olympia titles, which is, you know, a nice round number. Also, his wife is pregnant right now, that is also another reason. And, like, he doesn't have anything to prove anymore, I mean, he's a very, very successful businessman, so why would he continue competing? And also, he has so many injuries at this point, like, his quad, his bicep, his lat everything is torn pretty much, I mean, it's not really showing, but we know, so maybe his career is actually over, I mean, maybe he did a hair transplant because he wants to look good on stage, I mean, that's very, very reasonable, but I don't know, I don't know, I have the feeling that he's pretty much done, but we'll see next year, as for right now, he is the boss of Ramon Dino, apparently, tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. Alright, the next thing I wanted to show you was very, very interesting to me. It is basically meet and greet uh, with uh, Sam Sulek. 
and it was crazy how many people showed up this was insane this was so unexpected this is a really freaking large crowd I mean, I know that this guy is extremely popular on YouTube right now. I mean, he has basically a million views every video, but still, man. Look at this. Look at this. I, I don't want to call it a line. Look at this freaking crowd. All these guys, all these kids came here to meet the guy, to, to actually meet and greet Sam Sulek. I can only imagine another guy having this kind of a crowd, and that is Chris Bumstead. But, I mean, Chris Bumstead is a five-time Mr. Olympia champion. He has been competing since ever and uh, Sam Sulik never competed in his life he started his YouTube channel one year ago and that's all he does he basically posts raw videos of himself training he's just vlogging he's training and more importantly he's being himself people love it apparently people love him so look at this once again I was mind blown when I saw this it's it's crazy it's insane but if you want my opinion about the guy I mean, obviously the reason why he is so popular is because two reasons. I mean, first of all, he looks insane. He has an insane physique, especially for a 21-year-old. He looks crazy. And second, he has that charisma that you're either born with or you are not. He has a lot of talent. He was born to do this and he's trying very hard. He's filming every single day. He has a high quality camera as well and a mic. So, you know, it's not maybe professionally edited, the videos, but, you know, at least it's a high quality video, high quality sound. It's him being himself, being real and looking insane. And that's it. Now, what is interesting about him is that he has like his own way of doing these things. And, you know, personally, like, I watched a couple of his videos and I completely disagree with pretty much everything he's saying. Because I tried it all already when I was a kid and it didn't work for me at all. Like, if you want to succeed and you don't have godlike genetics, like he does, you know, he has Jay Cutler type of genetics. Like, he can be a professional uh, open bodybuilder, a top pro. Like, he's that genetically blessed. He's a uh, one percenter or even less. So all he needs to do in order to look good is to train heavy and eat food. And that's about it. Most of us can't just do that. Like if you train the way he's training, you won't even be able to target your muscle. He can connect because he has crazy genetics and he can do it. Like Ronnie Coleman used to be able to do it. Also, he can eat junk food and just burn everything and not store any fat and just grow muscle. But, like, if you have average genetics, you can't do that. You need to eat chicken and rice and stuff like that, you know. And those are the major things that he is about that I disagree with. Like I said, I watched a couple of his videos and basically everything else, almost everything else, like 90-80% of things that he says, I have to disagree with because I know it's not like that. But once again, if you have genetics like him, it doesn't really matter. You can make a whole bunch of mistakes as long as you're training hard and eating a lot, you're good. But I can appreciate his videos because they are entertaining. He's talking about what he's doing, which is very, very interesting. And the way he's talking, he has a very soothing, calming voice. I love how passionate he is about bodybuilding and the way he is training very intensely. So there is something that you can learn from this guy, but most of the things he's saying are, you know, <laughs> wrong in my opinion. But I absolutely understand the popularity. You know, he is, he's doing great. Whatever he's doing, he should just keep doing it and he will keep doing it, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I think he deserves this kind of popularity. I mean, good job for him. Alright, next we got a physique update of Regan Grimes, who didn't specify what his weight is right now, so I'm assuming it is the same as it was in his last update, which is 300 pounds, which is heavy, which is a lot, which is I think max what he was in his last offseason. So he already got up there just like after a couple of weeks, five weeks after the Mr. Olympia, in a month basically after Mr. Olympia, he got up to the weight where he was when he was deepest in his off season. So there is a lot more room for him to progress even more, to get even bigger, even heavier. And as you can see, this photo was taken with Milo Archer. So maybe he's being trained by Milo Archer. I mean, he's being coached. We all know that. And he used to be trained for a while, but he decided you know, to do it by himself because I think because <laughs> what Milos is doing is a little bit too extreme. But maybe it seems like based on Regan's updates, he's very, very driven right now. So maybe he decided to go back to being trained by Milos Archev, you know, by with those giant sets and, you know, a lot of insulin uh, during workout, uh, before workout and like a lot of carbs and all that stuff. 
and a lot of guys grew like crazy doing that kind of protocol so hopefully Regan is doing that with Milos right now and he's gonna make a lot of progress in this offseason and we'll see him much much bigger next year I wish that happens anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye